Hey, what's up everybody? Today in the studio, we've got the brand new Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 6 powered by the Ryzen AI 7 Pro 360. It's a thin and light 14 inch business laptop built tough like every ThinkPad while also delivering solid CPU and GPU performance. I've always had a soft spot for the ThinkPad lineup. In fact, I even made a separate video about the history of these laptops. You can check it out on the channel. But today, let's dive in into this beauty in detail. Lenovo usually released two versions, T14 and T14S. The S model are always a bit more premium, thinner, lighter, and usually with a stronger processor. In Gen 6 lineup, the regular T14 comes only with the Intel series, while the T14S is equipped with the top tier Ryzen chips. And there is an even Snapdragon version. Mine here is the Ryzen model. The laptop the laptop is just 16.9 mm thick and very lightweight. You can easily hold it with one hand. Still, it feels sturdy and reliable. Lenovo kept the soft touch coating, which feels nice, though, of course, it collects fingerprints pretty quickly. There is now a small notch at the front, making it easy to open the lid with one hand. A little change, and I really like it. For a slim 14-inch laptop, the port selection is excellent. On the left side, two USB-C power delivery plus display port, HDMI 2.1, headphone jack, and a SIM slot if you choose LTE. Right side, two USB-A and a Kensington lock. So basically everything you need for work is here. When open it up and you are greeted with a classic ThinkPad experience. The legendary keyboard with a great key travel and wide backlight. The iconic track point with the dedicated buttons. Thank you Lenovo for keeping it. A brand new mode key that lets you switch performance profiles right from the keyboard. Stereo speakers on the both sides of the keyboard which sound noticeably louder and cleaner than in the past generations. This model comes with a 14-inch touchscreen, 1920 by 1200 resolution, 400 nits brightness and full sRGB coverage. Colors are vibrant, text looks sharp, perfect for work, browsing, and streaming. The touchscreen is smooth and responsive, making it easy to scroll, swipe, and switch between apps. Above the display is a 5 megapixel webcam with a Windows Hello support. Quality is average, but fine for video calls. The Ryzen AI 7 Pro 360 performs confidently. The integrated graphics handle everyday tasks, multimedia, and even some light gaming, Dota 2 or CS2 run smoothly on a medium settings. My configuration comes with a 32 gigabyte of LPDDR5 RAM and one terabyte of SSD, though there are options with up to 64 gigabyte of RAM. In a Geekbench 6, the laptop delivers consistently high results, even with lots of apps running. One of the best parts, the battery lasted over 10 hours in my video playback and light work test. That's a big step up from the previous generations. Charging is via USB-C with a compact 65 watt adapter. Easy to carry and compatible with the docking stations or external monitors. And my final thoughts. The Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 6 is exactly what we expect from the T-Series. A reliable workhorse, it's a lightweight, durable, has one of the best keyboards in the business, a strong set of ports, and now much better battery life. If you do not need a top-tier display or the best webcam, there is a fantastic choice for anyone who wants a compact and powerful laptop for everyday work. So what do you think? Drop a comment below, are you using ThinkPad? And would you consider upgrading to the T14S Gen 6? And now, as always, let's take this beauty apart and see what's going on inside. Stay tuned. Let's go! 
Let's flip this laptop over to the bottom side and remove five Phillips screws. Nothing unusual here, everything is pretty straightforward. Once the screws are out, I use my pry tool to pop up one corner, then continue with my fingers to gently release the rest of the bottom case. It's important not to apply too much force, you don't want to damage the internal clips. Also, make sure you open the laptop from the rear side near the LCD hinges. The front edge has hidden clips that holds the bottom case and palm rest together. Forcing it from the front could cause the damage. Now, first thing first, before doing any upgrades, replacements or repairs, always disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Removing the battery here is very simple, just two screws and it lifts right out from replacement. Next, there is one replaceable SSD slot securing by a single screw. Right beside it, it is an optional VLAN card slot in case you'd like to install one. Unfortunately, the memory RAM and Wi-Fi card are soldered directly to the motherboard and they're not upgradable. One nice feature is the data board on the right side of the laptop, which contains two USB ports. If either of those ports fails, it's an easy swap. On the other hand, the ports on the left side are integrated directly into the motherboard. If any of those break, the repair could get expensive and may even require full motherboard replacement. That's all for today. Love and peace to everyone.